16 to 24. The water temperature was 62. At the Port Washington Lakeshore, the air temperature was... Hey, it's Scott here, and I'm just uh, making a video on scanners and uh, radio frequency, public service, radio in general. Um, it's kind of a neat little hobby to have, but it's also a, kind of valuable for getting um, law enforcement information, weather, especially weather information. Um, you know, with the recent uh, tornadoes and, we you know, severe weather season, um, many people are aware of, like, uh, the NOAA uh, weather, weather radios and frequencies. Well, all scanners usually have these frequencies uh, pre-programmed. Uh, one of them here I'm showing on this home unit is 162.4. Uh, it's a pretty common frequency. Um, this doesn't have to be an expensive uh, proposition. You, a lot of times you don't you can find the scanners like this one I found at uh, Goodwill. I think I only paid like less than ten dollars for it. It came complete. It had the the back of the set antenna. It also had the AC adapter. Everything for like ten bucks. Um, I've also, a few years back, I bought this one, handheld one. It's a BC80XLT, and I bought it several years ago, and it was actually kind of like an older model. It was like on a closeout for like less than, I think, $80. It was like $79. Um, reason why I said this doesn't have to be expensive you could go to like a Radio Shack or, or like an electronics, like a a specialty store on the internet and you'll have scanners like this but they'll you know you'll have like a zillion uh, memories and things like that and, and you'll and you'll end up paying you know three four hundred dollars well you don't have to pay nearly that much you can buy something like this for you know maybe like 50 bucks off of eBay or something even less um, or you might get really lucky and I found this one this is a unit in uh, 55 XLT for, yeah, that's right, 99 cents. I got this at a Vincent de Paul thrift store, and uh, it does work. Um, the only thing, maybe a drawback of this older one is it doesn't have the ability to scan through uh, the bands to find active uh, frequencies that you can like find and program later. Uh, but there's enough. Uh, information. In fact, there's more than enough on the internet on scanner frequencies, uh, how to get into this. Um, it says how to where you get accessories. You know, just very basic information, and you can take it from there. This is all stuff I've, I've obviously got off the internet. Um, there are there are magazines and things too, like this one, and you'll find out frequencies for your area. I'm trying to th like here's for instance is like local local frequencies for local municipalities, uh, government agencies. Now one thing I will say. Um, it's legal to use this stuff if you have it at home. Um, it can also be legal or illegal to use it in your car. I'm going to show you my, uh, I have a sort of a car installation and I've been using this one in my car with a, with a, a trunk mounted magnetic and magnetic mount antenna. Now, I, I've kind of assumed that I can use, use it in my car because I bought, I bought the uh, car antenna at the Radio Shack store in my neighborhood so but I didn't know for sure but I, I I'm only saying that as a disclaimer check you might want to check with law enforcement because it may be uh, legal or illegal in your area and like here's instructions for one the other one um, if you find that like I said if you find a a radio like this you can easily uh, find instruction manual off the internet um, just whatever search engine you use you can just enter in whatever radio you have and I'm sure they'll find you'll find instructions on how to use it so let's go outside and I'll show you my uh, my car uh, installation another little quick thing before I go outside um most of the time when you buy a radio like this you'll get one of these antennas 
and it screws on there. It's like a, what they call a BNC connector, it, like a bayonet mount connector. They call this kind of like the rubber ducky antenna, and it's a certain length, and it works moderately well for most uh, bands and frequencies, but I would recommend uh, if you want the best performance from a handheld scanner, um, you could go to Radio Shack or another like a radio specialty store and you can get one of these uh, telescoping antennas. And the reason why you why this works a lot better, you, you just change the the length of it for whatever for whatever band or frequency because uh, different bands um, have different wavelengths. I'm not going to get too technical, but depending on whatever band, usually the length of the antenna, whatever the antenna will be, you can adjust it to the best performance or the best reception. And you can get one of these for about, oh, 20 bucks or so. I got this one at Radio Shack. I think I paid less than 20 bucks for it. Okay, we're outside by my car, and here's my uh, scanner antenna. It has like two kind of loading coils, they call it. They kind of increase the power, I guess you'd say, the, the ability to receive signals. This is a receiving antenna only. It's not for transmitting. Um, from experience, if you don't find one of these specific scanner antennas, you can also use a CB uh, whip antenna. It works almost as well, I found. And in my case, this is just a magnetic mount and you can see the cable here and what I've done is I just routed it through the the rear bulkhead through the inside of the car the interior of the car and then this is stuff you can buy at like any Radio Shack type store um, and the nice thing about using one of these, it's actually easy to use it in a car if you have a cup holder, like I do here. All I have to do, I took some, took a little Velcro there, and put it, put some Velcro on the back here. And all you have to do is just put it in the cup holder. Kind of stick it, stick it there so it doesn't fall out or whatever. And you take your the cable and you just hook it up there. And I use it. I use batteries, although like that other one actually has a uh, a uh, car car battery plug there. I could use that because I have a I have a outlet right there, and you can just. It's scanning now, I probably won't find anything. But I like to use it for the weather. Weather frequency. And you can get better reception with this than on it with just a regular uh, whip antenna. I can get four or five different um, NOAA weather stations in my area. And like I said, this is, might be something you might want to check out and say if you find one cheap. This installation doesn't really cost you much money. And, uh, you know, something like this, if you're out you're traveling out in the middle of nowhere and through you know severe weather or something comes through you know something like this will it could even save your life you know it it's it could be that important so I thought you I make this little video I hope you got something out of it and uh, whatever you do stay safe and I'll see you later bye